if we listen very carefully, we can hear the word of God resounding. Glorious is the flow of his love coming forth, coming forth as fire by day and like a cloud by night. So praise the Lord and love from love, hope from hope, peace from a prince of peace, and praise him evermore, people, because he is the almighty powerfulness of truth, the invincible supreme, and love's unbeatable fires comes now from his refiner's fire that he's pouring over the circle of earth so that all flesh might become divine torches of passionate love and so that they can be candles of faith uh, and uh, mirror the uh, miraculous menorah of the Lord's most radiant glory for he alone is the enigma of adoration, the answer to all and our most merciful grace of everlasting forgiveness. These are the days of Elijah, the days of Shiloh, the days of Joshua, Zechariah 3, the alcoholic, the alcoholic of Habakkuk 2. Uh, the just shall live by my faith, even though I've been transgressed by wine. The alcoholic foretold as Shiloh, Genesis 49, 12, one whose eyes are red and dull of wine. That was never Christ the Lord because he alone is the resolver of stupidity, the restrainer of our foolishness, and the abolisher of all unloving sin. So praise him evermore, people, and realize that these are the days to beat our sword into the sickle here on the latter-day mountain of God, where it overflows with food. Uh, Isaiah 25 foretold, and Christ said, Who will come and feed the master's household meat while the master is away? For he knew all from the beginning, because he only desires to be irresistibly desired. He is the liberator of peace, the continual freedom of life eternal, and the only living way unto each evermore. So praise God. Let the eternal jubilee of love and the living celebration commence for it shall never end once we realize the fullness of his message it is time people because he says i will be your god you will be my people i will forgive your iniquity i will never remember it i write my law and my love upon your hearts beyond that no one will ever need to be taught of me anymore saith the lord for all people shall know me from the least to the greatest and this is the appointment of jeremiah 110 to tear down all kingdoms of man's imaginations not built solely upon the lord's unconditional love and know that the Most High has now given himself unto the generations so that we can become interpreters of his overflowing beauty of love that never ends. And then we can become narrators of his glory, confessors of his purpose, and preachers of his mind of love. For it's time to exalt the teachers of his works of love. And so know that the subtlety of the word is inexpressible. And like his utterance, so also is his swiftness as he comes forth. But praise God, it's time to realize more than ever that the Lord is now promising everyone, keeping their love alive, not committing blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, that they will inherit eternal life. And all calling upon the name of the Lord shall be saved in every knee shall bow unto love that is his name first john 4 7 and every tongue shall confess and he shall be their god and praise god it is time that we come to realize more than ever before in these days of his his glory that in these early kingdom day age after the lord has given his covenant unto israel so they become chrislam isaiah 62 2 foretold they would get that new name and it would happen because they have inherited all mankind 
Isaiah 54, 3. So it's time to come up, and it's time that uh, unto him he now whispers unto all people of his everlasting love that the greatest glory of his love's most incredible shining it will finally begin covering our shrinking world of soon forgotten foes like perfume covering beautiful women, like waters covering the ocean of the Lord's adoration, and like pea green seas covering everything else upon our small planet of closed minded, heartless people, ignorant driven. And it's time that the Son of Love arises with healing in his wings so that all might uh, walk away from our gross darkness of the ignorance of love. For the whole world has desired a love divine, unconditional, but very few are willing to have that. And it is time to move it into that year to, so that Christ can save our world. For he is the most marvelous king of heaven's shiniest resplendence, of his everlasting honor's greatest glory. And he's pouring it out now because he is our sacred purity, the immaculate almighty, and the magical transcendence of the love of the ages. And it's time that we all come to realize the truthfulness of his love that has had its way in the storm of the world's spiritual racism. And it's time that the wheat and the tares can no longer grow together. The wheat must come with me. Deep calls unto deep. And it's time for a mountain of food. So it come forth in the name of love. And guess what? So shall it be that the Lord, all following after his word, the Lord shall be all of our light and our salvation. Whom could we fear? For the Lord is the stronghold of our lives. And uh, of whom, whom should any of us be afraid? The only thing that we need to ask of the Lord is that only that we should all seek. Seek ye first the kingdom of love and all will be added so that we may all dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of our eternal life, to gaze upon the overflowing beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his everlasting temple. For in the day of trouble he will keep us safe in his dwelling. He will hide us in the shelter of his sacred tent and set us upon a high rock. And then our head will be exalted high above the enemies that might surround us and at his place of refuge we can sacrifice with shouts of joy and sing and make music unto the Lord and praise God it's time to lift him up for he, his name is to evermore be praised so welcome in the name of our majesty of majesties who is now arising in the splendor of his magnificence of his most loving beneficence for absolutely all people keeping their love aflame because that is him living within their chests and all those who love are born of god because that is who he is so love from love peace from peace and learn the manner of our face uh, as we declare praises unto his spirit. And it's time to wipe the paint from off our face, show our real face of love that is that we've hidden. And it's time to love his holiness and to put that on. Only then can we be unblemished at all times with him. For he is now promising everyone keeping their love alive that he will never let us go. He has not lost one from out of uh, his hand. And praise God that in these long-awaited days of our returning Messiah's greatest love being poured out upon all flesh as Noah's flood, his most incredible glory of his unending peacefulness can finally begin covering all peoples of earth like grass at a park ice at a skating rink and like an amusement uh, floods all, all over the Disneylands, and it's time to learn to sing a new song. And man, if we could just turn things around, we can turn things around, if only we dare. I'm asking you, come out into the deep with me. Learn the ways of unconditional love. The Lord has shown me, I have seen the Beulah land, and we can inherit the 
promised land all of us together. True.